he's crafting drying rack that yeah the meat dry I need more ingots fucking hell I need so many ingots I might have to go out and actually get more copper at this rate let me just craft all the rest of the ingots because I need these for storage and then the rest of them I'll need for the other thing I have the receiving pads I need be crafting storage large crate yeah Nick's been running around with me tonight it's been nice I've got a chance to kind of like go out and kind of explore some things nearby like there was a couple of questy type things down there like localized things that you can walk up to and just do across the across the river over there which is kind of cool I still have this quest from the start of the night but I'll go and do that in a moment and kill and hunt and harvest and whatever the whole way along but I just want to get a couple things crafted before I run off to do that but yeah that was kind of cool because like you can go to these places if I can hover over one um and they'll say if they're like active and stuff and you can go like it's a level five you can go over there and it'll it'll tell you what you can go and look for and and get and stuff like that which is kind of cool because like I didn't fully understand what they were like I said, like I, it's been a long time since I played WoW and that's really the closest reference I've got to a lot of what's in this game. That and Division and I didn't really understand Division too well. So it's it's been nice to have like a clearer understanding as well. Um, I would like to put these away, the special things, in my construction items. But I think it's only going to let me put like food or stuff like this. I want to put... What that ammo? I want to put this in here I don't have a pistol I've got five more regular arrows and I'm, I'm cool with that portable mixed fuel I don't want to carry that around I'm not using grenades I got a fishing rod I need to go and use that I'm gonna go back down to the ocean probably maybe I, I don't know I'll see um, and this can go back into my inventory and this can come unable to deposit all right hold on I also figured out some stuff like organize like if I pull something aside, like here, I can hit organize it's, and it will go back to it or I can hit, it's behind me kind of, but there's this thing called merged items. And if you've got something in here, it will scan it and just chuck it straight in, which is super cool too. I also got drinks and stuff. I'm probably going to need that soon. Been running around, not doing much. I do food sealed with glass, not spoiled, but containers can easily be broken. Well, if that's the case, let me put my canned foods away because they will last long enough for me. Water will also last. I got a lot of water as well. Also dirty water and stuff like that, actually. Oh, wait, this thing has like heaps of space. Huh. Okay. Um, I just didn't know. That's, that's cool. Um, I do want to keep all of this shit on me. Well, not all the salt. Salt can, salt can go away. I will do curing with that soon, but I don't have a lot of meat on me because I gave nickel, like, almost all my meat. Oh, this is pretty on dawn. Fuck, that's bright. I'm sorry to anybody that's laying in bed trying to, like, prepare for their sleeps and stuff. But, like, this is kind of nice. Like, just, like, the way that they've got... I love games that have good lighting systems like this like if I look up towards it like it gets hazier and dark if I look down if I look away stuff like that so it's a really nice touch and I can tell helpless something will flush yeah I don't know I think it's nice um it, little things like the lighting systems in games I don't know why but I'm far far more likely to play something if somebody can figure out how to fucking do light in a game <laughs> I don't know why um Oh yeah, I got I got a decoration. Look at this. Look at this. I got my own plush. I, I got a I got a plush that I can put around. So I have that. So yeah, I can also put like other stuff in here too. Um, the fuck else was I gonna put down? I was gonna do drying rack. That's right. Um, building storage production. I should have enough for this now. So Nick had like I don't know how many he had of these. He's also built more than me. Like, I'll show you. Hold on. Hold on. Get get out of there. This is Nick's place down here. Like, just, just here. And he has, like, he has a bed and everything. The only good thing is, as a team, 
I can I can go and sleep in his bed and I don't need one of my own and I can craft on his gear um so yeah I don't I don't need that but as a team we can also trade and other stuff like that so it's good and share stuff get my copper arrows so I'm gonna run around with some copper arrows I don't know if I made just a shit ton of these last time yeah so um I think I've still got like a shit ton of salt getting made oh I found sugar too apparently you get sugar from beets so that was nice um I also found I was talking about earlier it's like fruit tea I um I went down here down to water down there and there's like lilies and shit and if you pick them you get tea and we also figured out um we get where was it it's on the food you can get fish bait and go fishing so I don't have corn yet I don't know where to find corn but that's okay that's not too big of a deal um but yeah apparently you can refine beets to get um sugar so that's pretty cool no i give you ruffles you don't have to be confused if i can it's all good i can also make a steak combo apparently which honestly sounds pretty good um but yeah let's see i want to put some meats on this yeah meat dryer can i put the beast meat all of it salt <laughs> and all of it can i just deposit that that's a cute streamer no thank you bubba give you some pats too oh i've got to deposit it you have selected items that cannot be stored here uh salt input hold on let me get back out of it salt input salt yeah there we go hold on let's give you the whole stack of how you doing bubba good morning going um Oh man, let's see, meats, meats, beast meat, yeah, I found rabbits too, so that's a thing, um, I found rabbits, I've got deers, Nick found a crocodile, so that's a thing, um, cured meat option, oh, cured meat output, okay, so it's got like 20 minutes to make that, so that's pretty cool, leave that alone, um, good. How are you? Always good to see you. I'm alright. I got some okay sleep today. Um, so I finally slept. That was good. That was a priority. Then I basically like went out to dinner. Um, spent some time out with Nick. That was really nice. Uh, except it was really, really cold outside. So my throat hurts really bad. Especially from like all the talking I've done this week. Because like um, Wednesday is like six hour stream. I was talking like non-stop for six hours with just so much information I was getting from like the game and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's a little, it's a little like sore. Um, there's nothing I can do about it, but, um, what else? Um, oh, sorry. Oh, yawn. Yeah, Nick got into game. He sort of set that up and he's almost, he's almost fucking ahead of me. He's like about a level ahead of me about that. I'm going to grab you and um, yeah, apart from that, I don't know. I guess I'm mostly all right. I've made some equipment and stuff. I should be right. I think I should be right to like cheese. frig off out of here. That is, that is definitely cheese. Um, I sort of want to go down here, but I would like to go down to water. But if I go down this way, maybe I'll find corn. Who knows? I also remembered thanks to Nick playing there's a whole bunch of stuff that I just don't know about games like this because I don't have many games like this right so like Nick reminded me how to fly in the game and um there was all kinds of stuff that I've done so far he showed me kind of like how to do some of the questings and stuff across the thing and um yeah all, all sorts of it's it's been good um, I do think that like if Nick hops on and plays while I'm offline, I'm never going to catch up ever again. <laughs> Just because he's like really efficient at leveling and stuff. But we also figured out how to get into like the same group. We didn't have any issues getting into the same server, so that was really good. Um, and he had no problems finding my base and stuff like that. So all in all, very good. Very good day. That thing. 
And hopefully this weekend I plan to sleep. I plan to sleep a lot. I also got, um, I got a voucher from fucking Twitch for uh, doing some survey thing and it allowed me to get ghost drops, which is pretty cool. I wanted to get uh, Warhead lollipops. Um, you know, the sour lollipops with like the bubble gum and shit in it, but they apparently are not available currently on Amazon, which I don't fucking get. But like I can get them from like Australian wholesalers and shit. I just couldn't use the voucher anywhere else. So I ended up getting like, um, what do you call them? Like the ghost drops, like old candy kind of thing that like colors your tongue and stuff. I'm like, fuck it. This is the same thing just without the sour stuff. Realistically, it kind of is. Um, yeah. So I've got that to look forward to too, because I haven't really had like, I haven't had like a good candy for a while. Like I don't, generally have like a lot of like snacks and lollies and shit like that like I have stuff I just I don't know I have a preference for things and a lot of the things I like are not really available in shops these days because it's like classified as old <laughs> and I'm like oh okay I just can't have nice things that's that's what I hear it's like I'm old enough not to have nice things I'm in a polluted area oh yeah we worked out the number on my back it's how polluted this area is. This area is 12% polluted out of interest. We worked out what that is. So 13%, 10%, 5%. Okay. That's interesting. I work so happily lifting poor to bubba. No. I also need to get this too. I got a harvesting sickle too, which I don't know if that's just automatically going to happen when I find a plant. So I want to find a plant so I can test it. I also like where that person's put their thing. It's nice. Um, there's shakes paws giving head pats. No. Happily by so happily. They're having poor stroked and receiving pats. Actually, I was just patting Azula's paw like like a moment ago. It was nice. She was just like stretching out and um, she was all sleepy. I think it laid down. So she got all sleepy and like stretched her paw out of her like cat bed and stuff like that. So I took the opportunity to like take it and pat it. But yeah, tonight we've had like, because Nick's been in the room, right, well, been streaming, because obviously he's playing the same game, right? Um, the cats have been non-stop climbing all over him. I'm not even exaggerating on the, the emphasis of crawling all over him, because, let's see if I, I don't know if I'm supposed to use a special sickle. Hold on. Let me get into my backpack. Um, can I grab this and put that there. Papa unavailable. Is it not something that I can put in? I yeah, I can't put it in there. So how do I use it then? Oh, it's durability is 14 days. It's passive. That's cool. That's really cool. It's not a one time thing. It just lasts for 14 days. That's awesome. I've never seen that before. I am serious. I've never come across that. I also got really wild looking shoes. Hold on. Where's my gear? <laughs> I got these things that look like their teeth. So that happens too. I had like a, it was super zoomed in on the shoes and I had a, like a, what are those moment? <laughs> and I had to like, basically I went really, really quiet on stream, but that's what I was thinking the whole time. And so I'm like, excuse you. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> um, there's a wax. I have this nothing. Wolf plus yawning. No. Oh man. No, I'm definitely enjoying this. It's um, it's kind of slower pace, kind of, I, at the moment, because I'm still under level 10, I don't really have much kind of stuff to do, and I can't do dungeons and stuff. I'm mostly trying to get my level up, get through the journeyman stuff, and kind of like, you know, get to a point where I can actually like kind of play. But at the moment, I've obviously got to get past that and learn how to play and stuff. So I assume after I get past that, I can start doing dungeons. I can start seeing whatever the world's like after like level 10. Like I do find that we've found out that if Nick and I are both playing at the same time and we log in at a different moment to each other, like Nick logged in like 40 minutes before me, what happened is um, I was in nighttime and Nick was in daytime. So that's the difference. So if you're on here and you're playing with somebody else, it's not necessarily the same time of day. So when I saw everybody returning home the other night, 
it could have been any time of the day for them. It could have been day or night, it wouldn't have mattered. Don't you lay down, I'll kill you. Um, yeah. So that was really interesting, because that's like Generation Zero. Nick and I always had that, where we'd hop into game. And even if we teleported at the same time, I was in like snow and night, and Nick was in like summer <laughs> and like daytime, and we're like, what the fuck? The game is so unsynced, but we're running around together. And there was a couple of times where he went like scooting past, like he was a stationary object and just like pushed me around the screen. There was that. I did the same back to him though, so it was fine. So yeah, we've had a bit of um experience with it, but I actually think it's really good multiplayer. We also had Triant the visit earlier, and I think he's interested in like PvP aspect of it. I do like the fact that as PvE, I do not have to worry about people attacking me or my base or any of that sort of stuff. Like I can just exist. It's really nice, you know. I, I can go and attack the stuff that's out in the wild and not worry about players fucking with me or my game, you know? Which is one of the biggest things too, is like, I don't know, I would like to know that I can come back to the same resources, that's the only thing that prevents me from playing with like other people for the most part, apart from like, you know, you know how I am, like everybody that knows me knows how I am, it's like I don't generally just play with randoms and stuff. I would probably play this with like, if I have server members and stuff that like I know and trust and stuff, like, I've got no problem if they happen to be on the same server as me and running around at the same time. You can only have four people in your group, though. Oh, corn. Here's corn. Oh, we got corn. I need this. I need this for fish bait. This is where we got it. Okay, where am I? Alright. So, it's just down the road. I bet there's more around here if I look. So, alright. I almost walked right past that. I don't know what caught my attention at the last second, but I'm here to also get a lot of copper. I need copper as much as I can at the moment. Um, around for Shadow and Shadow Ninja wagging to help me. Shadow Ninja was here earlier. Um, they stopped by. I haven't seen Shadow, but you got to remember Shadow's laptop died, and he was only able to like access Twitch and stuff from his phone. So he might be busy. He might be busy like trying to sort things out or he could be just dealing with that at the moment. Let's head back into Hapley. It's not going to flush. Yeah. Give you want to flush some parts. You guys need it. Um, Cat was here earlier. But they're off to get a motorbike today. They should, by now, they definitely should be at the location and obtaining it at the moment. They're buying a motorbike. Um... There was information earlier in stream about it. I I don't know like models and stuff of them off like the top of my head. And I can kind of like identify like brands and stuff, you know, like Harley and Ninja and stuff, but I I can't tell the rest um off the top of my head. Like I hope that maybe they put a picture in Discord over the weekend. So we can all kind of see it, because that would be pretty cool. Um it sounds like it's like a higher horsepower sort of model, so you know. I don't know. Um, I'm actually happily receiving pat smiles saying we'll flush get pats. You know, the nice thing is, like, I finally got to see Lush because of the um, other emotes. I also don't know what happened, but I can't read other people's these posts, these here. It's a little yellow butterfly in the blue. I could on the first night for a little while, but I can't read it now. And my only request is as much, oh hello, as much as I've asked everybody to like respectfully not give me any spoilers about the game, there's the one and only thing that I would like information on either why I can't see that or if anybody else is experiencing a similar bug for that. Because I was thinking that maybe it's just like a time thing, like maybe it's timed out or maybe they deleted the post and the mark is still there. That's the only thing I could think of that made sense to me because I've seen a couple just appear and either that or you can post them blank maybe. Maybe that as a third option. That's my other thought. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not sure. I can make one. I could probably put one down and see if I could put a blank one. 
because that would then answer the question of if people are just making them to put them down like crafting them because it's a mandatory thing that you have to craft and then just like leaving it on the ground or something you know no the hell was that the fuck am i near so i had to scratch my nose I didn't realize I was near anything. What the fuck was that noise? I don't. Not oh, the deers are fucking eating. By the way, the um, the creatures chase the deers as well. Um, majestic. I was going to like get out my machete, and I'm like, no, no, no. We'll have this moment. Um. I made a choice. Oh yeah, these little things too. These things are like robotics. Yeah, somebody came in here and of course did mention that they are like Digby, Digby boys. I didn't know that they had a name, but I hadn't seen it. But what I can do is it doesn't seem to matter whose it is. This one's not one that looks like it's upgraded. But yeah, the Digby boy. Okay, so the, they are genuinely called that. It's not just like a name or something. But what I looked at is it said H. You can interact it. So let's interact. It's just like Viking. I can ruffle your face. <clears throat> yeah. I, the only problem is it does disappear afterwards and I don't know if it's just like it's finished mining and I'm still interacting with it or what. But yeah. I thought that that was interesting. It was a nice little thing. Um, the Hubbley nods head. Yeah. Yeah, it, it got pats just like you do. That's also exactly how I'm patting you as well. Just in case you're like ever unclear how I'm ruffling the crap out of you, is I, I literally like hand to both sides of your face. Like just like Gordon Ramsay sandwich type thing and then just like fucking up and down with the hands ruffle in out of sync. That's exactly what's happening. Imagine like you know how like I don't know. Uh all kinds of like canines and stuff like that, like they get like smushy face and stuff when it happens. I imagine so. I don't know what the roaring sound was. I don't know if I'm just in proximity to something or what. But I also need a lot of this copper too. Also, as far as playing a game like this, so I have I have no experience streaming a like easygoing game like this where I can kind of like just run around and mine shit and like chat and then go do a battle or a dungeon or something like that. The closest I've got to that is like Palia so far. So this is going to be a real kind of learning curve for me because I had cons I had considered doing this with WoW in the past but I just didn't want to pay for like the monthly WoW subscription shit. I can't afford that. So yeah I thought uh, this is kind of in a similar thing. Oh wait did I break that? Fucking hell. I will smash this rock. I didn't realize I destroyed my thing already. I was just harvesting. I have a sunny wolf flush on its head. Yeah, I'm mostly out here going to a quest, trying to find copper trees. I actually don't know if I can take down trees without it. So the roaring was coming from here. I'm not seeing any like big dudes or anything that could be making a sound like that, but that is scary. Hello. Hi, V. Uh. Sure. So, oh, I clicked off it. Does this pop up extra to it? Yeah, it does. Okay, so it's popping up for me, but you guys can't see it. It's like a third party window type thing. And I don't know if maybe it's going to tell me. I just want to see what pops up. So just bear with me a second. So top events, global release wards guide. Uh, yeah, okay. So I can literally just pull that up and search for things. So V is the in-game helper and he'll appear in certain locations. So if I run away, he should disappear. If I come back, he should come back. I think it's when you go into the corner of a biome, I think. You can pull him up from somewhere else too. I don't know where Nick did it earlier. But, um, what was it? Like F1 or something was in messages. I got a... I got a, a welcome gift from V and they become your first friend. So when you get a friend, that's that's V. So that was pretty cool. Um, 
I also have like Nick in the hive as well. It's interesting. It must only show you friends that are online. I'm going to guess. But that's pretty cool because obviously like, yeah, we worked out how to do that shit earlier. So Nick's like level 8. I'm only like level 7. So I'm working on that. I, I figure I get XP for mining too. So it's not like a loss. There's all the deer. I want to go back over near this guy's camp because it had corn out front of it and it might have respawned. Yes. Yes, it did. Okay, so tall, grassy, alright, I just wanted to kind of commit its image to mental. It's very clearly obviously corn, but if I'm running around, I want my brain to be able to just notice it. Like, literally, it's just screaming, notice me, senpai, with like little blushes and on like every little corn, and I just happen to be able to see that as like I run, so preferable. Uh, is this where I'm supposed to be going nope it is not I was just following the path that's fine okay with that I am kind of like you can sort of see it on the little map can't really see it too well because it's a tiny map if you're on the phone you can't see it but I am following this down here oh yeah if you want salt we found salt you get salt water so this is polluted up until about here somewhere and then it goes to ocean water. Then you can harvest salt. There's also a bunch of bunnies and stuff around here. But there was in this orchard. There's oranges, coconuts. I don't know if it was. I think it was there that had the. Um, the beets. I felt like it was further up. But these two places aren't that. So maybe it was like in this corner. I think it had to be here. It has like the beets for sugar and stuff. So, yeah. So far that's pretty cool. Like, these are these are coconuts. So, oh yeah, there's one that's been upgraded over there. The little fast guy. So, I didn't see coconuts last time. What are you doing back out, mate? I didn't summon you. What are you doing? What do you need? I don't want to open any of that. I think he comes out at certain spots. I also didn't get to see if I got a coconut or not. So sometimes when I'm running around, he'll appear, but it'll be like a flash. That's what I've worked out that like bright pinkishy flashes when I'm running around. Sometimes he appears and disappears before I can actually see him. So yeah, that's kind of cool. The world's being a little bit janky over here, I noticed. So we also realized that um, because we can relocate our bases and stuff and base expansion where we are, might be problematic. I suggested to Nick that because like these areas look like they level up. Like this is, I'm going to a level two quest, right? We were over here earlier and that was a level seven area. I'm guessing that it's going to spiral out and take us somewhere else. But once we get somewhere that's too far away, I suggest that we just move our base, like deconstruct a lot of the machines and just move to a location. Like you can teleport back to your base as well. I'm choosing not to unless I have like a very, very good reason to because I like the concept of running around at the world and, you know, having to make decisions and getting resources on the way back and stuff like that. But yeah, this shanty town, all of these, this is people's like respawn place. So either this is like a popular spot that says that about here from there is where people start needing to craft or get food or drink or something like that because I think there's a monolith of greed danger zone it's nine I'm gonna guess that that is maybe a dungeon or something it's either a dungeon or a special zone I think these rift things are as well so yeah I can't access those until I hit level 10 unfortunately that's why I'm also kind of working on that but We'll get there eventually i'll hit level 10 then i can check out dungeons and i'm sure that that will be all kinds of terrifying for me until i've like done one or two uh i'm just keeping an eye out for trees and shrubs and stuff because now that i've got two corn i should be able to make a couple of fish all things also there's like i found out where you can buy designs and stuff this person's done really well with this house actually the boots will flush with tail wags so happily. No, I don't think I don't think flush is gonna like tickle you. I don't know. Maybe it might like 
What the fuck is that? Oh. <laughs> I'm guessing that you can get like cleaning things, but I didn't think the house could get dirty. That's cool. Um, I like the person's house anyway. I want to do some kind of like crazy okay design too, because you can paint these things and all sorts of stuff as well. Nobody's painting them and nobody's putting floors down and stuff. And I just don't know if it's maybe they don't know about it. Maybe they just don't care at this point. But yeah, I um, I find it really interesting because I am really tempted to build like a Sims house. That's what I kind of want to do. Like the ability to potentially do like a Sims house and... Oh, I know where he's popping up because I've got... I don't have the... um. Piss off, mate. I already know. I know about the... um. The, the axe that I'm supposed to be using. I, I figure that's what he wants. I'm going to see if I can borrow somebody's thing. I don't know if it's only teammates can use it or if anybody can use it. Let's find out. Can I use this? No. Alright. Let's head back and tell happily. Yeah. Okay, so I think if you've got a teammate, you can use their stuff. If not, I don't want to just like walk into somebody's house and be like, can I just borrow your shit? <laughs> like... I feel like that'd be a little bit rude. I would, I would honestly be like a bit, why are you in my house, myself? At least the music's playing. Hold on, I wanted to check out the settings for music too. Um, no sound. I have like all of that up. I just feel like this is a really, really quiet game. I love how I've got live stream mode, huh? Well, copyright music in the game we blocked after activation. Yes. Okay, so I had... Alright, tell you the story. So, I had a video from Wednesday. You know, the six-hour stream, right? They had a two-minute... Sorry, it was actually, like, about ten-second segment in a two-minute portion of a 32-minute video that is marked for copyright reasons for having a song in it. Because I turned on a radio in... Um, Mitsuka's house and it it flagged it on YouTube so what happened is I had to 